I have the results from the overnight tracking. You know, it's not fair. I mean, every other president had all of the Russians to blame for everything. What do I got? For an unpopular president. Uh, the voters felt that your being alive or dead had no real bearing on their daily lives. It's time to give war a chance. Dead. Dead. What are we gonna do for an enemy now? A riot between Americans and Canadians broke out last night. Now, with a little inspiration. All I said was Canadian beer suck. Give me one week and I'll have Americans burning maple leaves. They'll create a cause worth fighting for. Is Canadian Prime Minister Clark McDonald a member of a satanic cult? Oh, that is stunning. Canadians are always dreaming up a lot of ways to ruin our lives. The metric system for the love of God. Do not panic. I'm in complete control. There's a time to think, and there's a time to act. And this gentleman, there's no time to think. Move out! Welcome to Canada. I'm your worst nightmare. I don't know what you're talking about. We got ways of making you pronounce the letter O. What we have here is a brave but misguided group of Americans who go right into Canada and kick some serious Canadian butt. Oh, Americans. Welcome to Ontario. Sportsman's paradise, <laughs> isn't it, though? John Candy. You Canadians are so sneaky. Alan Alda. Surrender pronto, or we'll level Toronto. Rhea Perlman. What does this look like to you? I never saw a white one that size. Kevin Pollack. When have you ever heard anyone say, honey, let's stay in and order some Canadian food? Rip Torn. I can't kill America's neighbors. I can't. Canadian bacon. From the director of Roger and Me. Yowza! All right, now how did you know that was a nuclear facility? Well, they tricked us on that one. That's a hospital. But it's a hell of a strike.